It's January 10, 2023, and outside the White House in Washington, D.C., climate activists are gathering with a demand, asking President Biden to stop the controversial $8 billion Willow Project oil drilling plan. Approved just one day after the administration announced a protection of 16 million acres of land and water in Alaska, the Willow Project promises 600 million barrels of oil over 30 years and a staggering 278 million metric tons of carbon emissions according to latest estimates from the Department of the Interior. Proponents of the project, including some Arctic tribal governments, point to 2,500 jobs, $17 billion in revenue for the federal government, and a boost to U.S. domestic energy security as the project's major benefits. However, environmentalists argue that the project undermines the Obama administration's commitments to fighting climate change by emitting the equivalent amount of carbon emissions as 66 new coal-fired power plants. On Sunday, in apparent attempt to soften the blow of the Willow decision, the Biden administration announced bans on oil and gas leasing in the Arctic Ocean, accompanied by new regulations to protect the 13 million acres of National Petroleum Reserve Alaska. In response to the Willow decision, Sierra Club's executive director Ben Jealous stated, while we celebrate the administration's unparalleled protections for Alaskan landscapes and waters, the decision to approve the Willow Project may very well wipe out many of these climate and ecological benefits. This highlights a major dilemma facing the Biden administration, called on to tackle one of the world's greatest climate change challenges, how to balance the interests of our economy with the preservation of our environment. It's a problem that requires a nuanced and long-term approach rooted in public policy that serves the needs of both business and the environment. The Willow Project's future is still uncertain, but the climate activists protesting outside the White House today remind us that the importance of carefully analyzing the economic and ecological repercussions of decisions of this magnitude, and understanding the wider context of global warming and its consequences for communities around the world, 